Hey YouTube, I'm going to show you how to uh, air print from your iDevice along the score ISO 4, uh, 4.2.1. So, basically, the first thing you need to do is uh, download this file here. It's in the description below. Hit download, download it. I've already got it, so let's cancel that. So, once you've downloaded it, you have to go to uh, computer, local disk drive, um, program files. Make a folder called AirPrint, which I've done here, and extract the files into the folder. Okay, so to minimize that, keep that open because you need it later. Now, what we have to do now is find CMD, right click on it, run as administrator, hit yes. So this will come up, right. Now I've got this, I put this in the description. What we have to do is copy and paste the first line, and just paste that in. Now that is normal, that should come up, so I've already got it. So, hit the second one, do the same for that, copy, paste it, hit enter, and it's already running, it's already done it. So, yeah, so that's running. So, keep that open. No, no, you can close that, but close that if you want to. I mean, what? Um, now, to make sure, this has to make sure this works, go on to drivers and printers. No, no. Whatever printer you're going to use, right click on it, go print of properties, then this window should come up, go sharing, and make sure that box is ticked. You may see, you can't see it, it might be like not allowed you to click on it. There should be a button saying click the change, click on it. It asks you if you're sure you want to do this, click yes, and hit share printer. And I recommend you do this as well, because it helps you keep track. So hit OK, get bit done, and now close that. I go back to your local my documents part which we on earlier and run this one that load now this should come up this is all correct everything's running fine if this has come up and it's nice to be able to uh, air print just go onto your iPhone or iPod or iPod, iPad hit print and set the printer and it should come up you may find there might be a uh, password but this password is the same as your user so username whatever it is for me it's Josh whatever your password is now, sometimes if you haven't got a uh, password on your account, it will ask you for a password. I don't know how to get around this, but I'll post a video and find out how to. Best thing to do is to put a password onto your user account and leave it there. Put whatever you want, then your iDevice will ask for it and just enter it in. So I hope this has helped. If you've got any questions, uh, just leave me a message or leave me a comment or whatever. Thanks.